from here, so feet up onto my hips. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be passing off to um, either my main side or my offside. Main side would be my left side, which most people spend the time passing, so that's the most dominant thing. The downfall of that is his defenses are normally better on his right side, my left side, because that's the way that most people pass. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've mentioned this numerous times, is I'm gonna do what I'm good at and you've gotta stop it. I'm not gonna kinda go like, you know, like oh, I know that you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something different. If that's not my A game, I'm gonna compromise my mindset and my, uh, my plan. If your game plan and what you've got at is passing on the offside, then we do it, okay. One of the things that comes up nowadays is the initial and um, passing over to the initial, so the, the Timmy quarter guard, the, um, the half guard initial and all that. And it's one of the things that's come up uh, as far as the passing. So we're gonna to go to that position first of all. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna zigzag his legs. Um, by zigzagging the legs is, if the legs are even, he's powerful. So I'm gonna zigzag the legs. Now it's pretty much from here. So I get the control. I'm going to step my left leg forward, then my left hand goes forward, and that pushes off my hip. All right. So I'm going to bring the hands into the equation soon. A lot of the time that we're here, we get the grips. So what I'm doing is I'm going one and two. My hips compressing the leg forward, and this is pulling backwards. This puts me in a position where I can start to bring my knee through to pass. So once again, this very, very basic thing is from here, step forward, right. push, step backwards, pass my right here. So this is going to put me in the position where he's going to try and knee shield. We're going to come to this position. Um, I would generally drop low on this. This means that he can't come underneath my leg to start to leg reap and things like that as well. I want to be on the low side. It also means I can put my weight on my partner without going over my partner. <coughs> if I might put my weight here, there's nothing stopping him from regarding. Does that make sense? So even though when I'm passing higher, I can put more direct pressure on my partner, it's easy for my partner to recover the leg. So I'm not So from here. So the drill that we're going to do, real simple, is step forward, push it off, one, two, pass. Here. Okay. My partner's going to take his head away from me, going to take his knee to his chest. Here we go. I'm now going to do the same thing, opposite side. Yeah, it's bring in the regard. So what I'm doing is my, well, I'm, I'm pretty much staking him in the chest with my hand to stop him from coming and getting a clean knee shield on me and getting the underhook. So, um, when you change from side to side. Is that, yeah. yeah, I wasn't sure when you were stepped forward, like if you were in a frontal stance, would you switch your legs when you're, you're, you're not now in your line? So when you said you exercise, yeah, okay. So I'm pinning him. So the downfall about it is if I keep the grip here, uh, a lot of time that people try and beat the guard pass, what he's going to do instead is he's going to make sure his knee stays contact and moves his head away. Okay, head goes away, no contact. <clears throat> I need the hand close to the armpit, side to side. One, two, three. This is that thing that, like, if I just go sideways and I push the leg, I'm always going to be behind the leg. So, this is one of the issues that happens with guard passing is that. I feel I'm keeping the distance, so it's harder for him to attack me. But once you come forward, it's easier for me to push the leg in the zone. So what I mean by that is I compress and I step. And that puts that leg where I want it to be and hand fight. So now this is my landing zone. So first thing he's going to do is bring his knees to his chest and his head away. And we're back in the guard, retract. So what's going is hip goes forwards, boom, step, from here, in the zone. So knee to chest, moves away. So don't have to do it fast. And you're gonna find his recovery and retention becomes a lot faster than my passing. In fact, 
who start to beat me off the pass. He's got smaller movements and small motion. I'm doing a big circle on the outside. He's doing small motions on the inside. So for the person underneath, your recovery and your muscle memory will allow you to instant that your knee is separated, you're instantly going near the chest and head away. So this puts you in a far better position than what you were if you're trying to defend the guard pass. So go again, guys, one, two, three. Does that make sense? And that was passing system score zero, zero. There's no advantages and no points. I haven't consolidated the guard enough with the guard passing up to score an advantage. They haven't done enough to move. So even though I've opened their legs and I've moved, it's zero, zero. So there's, there's nothing scored yet. Um, I'm gonna grab Kurt onto his back, boys. Um, we're gonna go to the next stage, and this is uh, why I pass low level, not, not high level. Um, I'll, and this is what I pass it. Like, like everyone, everyone's got different scenarios. I know um, Professor Tone passes differently. He's got a lot long, longer length than me. Um, so I, I pass within my capabilities, um, and I pass what's best for my body shape and size. There will always be little adjustments depending on what we do. Control. Step forward. Four. So for me it's this. It's down. So when I pass, is I'm going to try and get my chest to chest as fast as I can. Number one, eliminates the frame system. Uh, and number two, even if it puts me back in the guard, I score an advantage. I'll explain. So we're here. What I'm doing is just watch carefully. I know that it's going to retract that leg, so I'll put my weight on and I'll keep my leg straight. You can retract the leg now. Of course, my knee's in front, it retracts the leg. Of course, my knee's in front. It's harder for him to retract it. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put my weight onto my lead leg, in front of his leg, go chest to chest. I'm not scoring uh, pass points. This is how we win a fight. Get the advantage. Fine. Still get the advantage if you catch it. I'm going to cover that in a second. Yeah, so here, once again, this is the important thing is to split the legs. This is gonna retract. Yeah. So I see a lot of people that are passing the here. It's a good way to get triangled. <laughs> if you roll with Emma, this is not how you want to pass. <laughs> what do you got here? Oh sorry, That's Kurt. Okay. I'm just holding them up. Okay. So <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Now the deal is if you are a brown belt or a black belt. This is the thing I've been doing to everyone, and everyone loves me for doing it. <laughs> knee bar, straight off the bat. And the knee bar's fast. Let's just say that we don't know about knee bars. <laughs> Here. Anytime my head is facing forward, my direction's going forward, right? Which means that my weight's predominantly on my left side. When I turn my head, my weight goes. On the other side, so I've got more of a choke style. So I want to disperse my weight through my partner. I don't be looking. I don't be looking where over to the side, so my weight spread even near my partner. You feel the difference on that? Yeah. Okay. So from here, right? Nice and slow. Get a grip. Control the legs. Step. Push. Boom. Boom. Straight up. Yeah. Everyone understand? Okay. Land on this side. So he pushes against my head to the base system, pushing it onto his hips. I'm having a hang on his hips. My head's this side, he's always going to push me off, which recovers his leg, which recovers the guard, which makes it a battle. Here. And here. This is my best push against my head to the base. I'm stronger than he is, is my head. I can use my legs, my back, and the shoulders to isolate the arm, once it's blood onto his back and chest to chest, I'm in a far better position. Sure, can I grab the other back first? So system here, once again is this is on a step, it's pretty just a fast little system. What I see people have trouble with is this, so here, 
So here, I can't go forward. So I'll go back and they off. Not this way, this way. So they're getting the frame. As the frame, they go forward. <laughs> and start to push up against it. So this here, don't lift your head. Get low, just drop your head. Look at that. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah. So <coughs> this and this. Okay. Put yourself across your partner. One, two, three. A mindset, right? And um, whether you win by an advantage, points of submission, you win. Right? Or whether you lose by an advantage, points or submission, you lose. So, um, if the fight's even and it's early on in the game or late on in the game, I want to score to the best advantage I can or best points I can or best submission I can. I'm going to play the game and I'm going to talk you through it, Gavin, onto that. So, we're going to start with the standing and I'm going to start the guard pass. Right? And what I want to do is I want to get ahead of my partner. That's all I want to do at this stage here. So I want to, I want to put myself in a position that I, I'm either up by a point or an advantage so that the fight's in my favour. If nothing else happens, I win the fight. Does that make sense? Now, at the end of the day, that's all we can do is put ourselves in the best position. So I've opened up the guard, I'm standing. Uh, so I'm going to step forward, form, cure the leg, form, knee smash, turn, form from here. Now, this is the deal. Right now, the fight's even. Gav's gonna do the best thing to frame up against me and I'm gonna have a lot of trouble past the guard. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna lift my hip up. He's gonna cover his guard. I score my advantage. Because I've almost passed his guard. He had to recover to stop the guard pass. I've scored an advantage. I'm winning the game. Yeah, so I'm not gonna get an advantage until either I get the pass, which in case I get the pass points, or he puts me back in the guard, in which case I get an advantage, almost pass. So I can't just go here, go chest to chest, and look at him here and go, okay, the referee's not gonna call because I'm still in passing mode. So I know he's gonna fight really hard to stop the guard pass, so I'm gonna go here, straight back in, Advantage. I take the opportunity to score my advantage. <clears throat> now, all I have to do is make sure I don't lose the fight. So you don't get the advantage until he recovers. The yeah. Advantage. Either I pass, which I get three points, or he puts me back into the car. Yes, sir. So, so <clears throat> if he doesn't frame up, if he just lays there, and right, nothing happens, and, the you, red and will... you step back into his guard. Yep. You don't get the advantage. I, I will, but if he recovers his guard. If he recovers it, but yeah. if he just lay there. So if we go here him. and I go boom and he just stays here, yeah. I wouldn't say anything because I'm going to be the front referee who's going to give it to me. Okay. Because I'm being more active than my partner. Yeah. But yeah. for 30 seconds, the referee's going to give each of us a warning yeah. for failure to fight. Because it's like stalling. Yeah. yeah. Then he's going to stop, he's going to take a penalty off each one, the second one is going to stand us up. Go back to a standing position. <coughs> yep. And if you're playing the game, he's better at taking us than. Well, so for me, and um, if you watch some of my fights in the world, yeah. this is what I do. Yep. I'll pass to here. Actually, I do this guard pass. I go here, I go like this, and I go forward. And I go like that, I put me back in the guard, and I'm here. Then I'll spend the rest of the fight going. I have no intention. Past the guard, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, I've already got the advantage. He has to score against me. So. No. You consider it like an upgrade, half guard. Yeah, I almost passed your guard. That's the most thing that's happened in this fight. I win. Kind of makes sense. You're on top, and like, oh yeah. Yeah, I just got to make sure. Anytime he goes for a choke and armbar, he can't be good enough for me to have to defend it, otherwise he'll score an advantage. So this is why I'll play 
Tak kira. <laughs> yeah, well, you've, yeah. yeah. So if I go back in the garden, I'll play back in the garden. Yes, baby. Um, just say you, you're in his guard, you get to half guard, so you're at your, you don't get the advantage until he regains guard. Yeah. Uh, if you're, what if he doesn't go back into guard? What if he jumps back and stands up and does, do you different. still get an advantage? Or because he doesn't close his guard? You know what I mean? If he ends up back on his feet instead of closing his guard. So, right, do you now, still get an advantage for advantage, him? Advantage, advantage. Oh, that is each side. Because he's almost, I've had to defend his, the, the sweep, because he's almost on top of me. Okay, that's so where I do. So you're better yeah. off. So, so this is why, off this pass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is why off this pass, is this, you can't stand up. No. This, I'm, I'm on your hip. It's like a single version. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why I don't pass this way, because you can frame, pull the leg out, stand up, hip escape, etc. This is why I pass this way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I thought you had an Adele, yes, sir. You had that single, didn't you? Yeah, hundred percent. Single drag. On yep. Yeah. Yep, and it just puts me in such a better position. Right, so you go for that and you get the pass. Get the pass points. But I'm not going to get an advantage. Got I don't. I didn't yeah. almost pass this guard. I did pass yeah. this guard. Mm -hmm. So no advantage. The whole advantage thing is just out the window. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this will be the scenario now, and. We're going to do two. So you need to flow these together. Okay? So first one, once again, is one step, two step, kill the leg, boom, smash on the side from here. I pose, I create space, you pull this leg, boom, advantage. One step, two step, boom, smash, boom. Hand goes up, cut my leg step, straighten my leg, dark pose. I get both. I'm good. Yeah, so on this pass here, right, is if I'm facing this way, it's exceedingly hard for me to grab his legs and control his hips. Well, here, I'm going to the squeeze. Go. Ooh. Pass. Knee bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Heaps okay. of pressure. Yeah. So, from here, one, two, pop. Boom. Okay, my hands are in position. I go here, I go push my face away, reframe the covers. Start. So here, once again, is this, it's this, to go to here, here, hand comes under, palm, this way to switch, so now I'll put the blade up, so this way up, yep. cut my hand, now, nah, cut my hips, my hand. There's no stopping you want, You want me to pass yeah. the guard. Oh, you do. oh, that's not the knee bar. That's just no, that's no, just no, on yeah, the TB band. Yeah, that's just that. Yeah, fuck off it, me. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, like so, so, so the thing I like about this is that from here, I have this the pass set up all day. And the more that he pushes me down, the more I do this, the more it hurts you, which makes you going to go just freaking pass the guard. <laughs> and I will oblige. I will take my three points, and I'll thank him later. <laughs> One, two, three, guys. Go. So, pass to half, back in, uh, pass to half, back in guard, pass to full guard, we call the rest of the control pass, rest of the control pass, do it twice each, and then swap over, and another person does it. This takes One. a little bit of um, tenacity and timing. Um, you need to be aware of this if you're doing the rest of this pass. Uh, this is my favourite counter to the rest of this pass. I'll try this, it's still one of <laughs> no, it won't work when I do it. So, I come through, my knee smashed. Um, let me turn your head a little bit this way, please, Cap. So, my knee smashed. I turn my head. Um, I don't know, yeah. So, Cap's going to get his right hand and he's going to grab my elbow and push my elbow down as far as he can. Like down. Back. He's now going to bring his uh, knee up and he's going to. Oh. 
Oh, to the mouth. <laughs> Because this hand is acting yeah. as a post. Yeah. So, easy to get But is that quite? Just to me, quite a bit. So, I'm going to explain to you why people have issues with this. Number one, you need to be a cylinder. And the reason why people fail is because they do a captive where they bend themselves so down, push my elbow. You now can't roll over your own neck. So, let me explain. Yeah, you can't roll. Yeah. So what you want to do is once we go to this position, what you're going to do is you're going to push that down. But to make it work is as I'm squeezing this, it's like half I'm squeezing this together, so cut cut the legs a little bit cut that. So cross your feet together. Nice. Now push down with your arm to your feet, to your right, and roll both of your knees. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now flare your knees. It's not your body doing it. Everyone messes this up. I'm going to, I'm going to pass your guard if you turn your head there because you'll give me opportunities. I'm taking my head to you. Yeah. Not. Yeah. So, Emma, come down. I'd just like to point out, Kev, that you didn't get any points because you didn't hold it. Before, so. I'm not, she's going to get three points. Yeah. Of course, it started from the guard. I never consolidated position. So, she's going to get three points. I'm not going to get guard pass. Emma's onto her back. Yeah. So we're here, I've gone knee, shoulder drop, and I'll grab the legs, so I'm going here. So first thing Emma does is she uses, and she's wanting to go on top of my elbow, push my elbow down. She now squeezes the knees across the feet. And now, now from here, flare your knees. That's the key. Because I want to keep rolling you otherwise. You roll me, I'll roll you. Because mm. I've still got your knees together, so as soon as you flare, Kind of want to flare mid roll and not um, Yeah, so the part that I see, the, the way that I said this was, was would go half guard and she'd get my, my hand. Thank you, baby. Can I have your hand in marriage? Okay, so she now puts my hand underneath, now squeezes the knees together and it's rolls. And that's pretty much the system. Right, but I'm going to try and get this and I'm going to try and continue. So as I try and roll, if you flare your right knee, your weight's on that side. And now, this sounds bizarre. Right. Sweep. Guard pass. Mount. Sweep. Sweep. Two. Guard pass. What are you up to? Five. Mount. Nine points. Do you need to stay in the guard for four seconds before then you clear the push? So let's have a look. I'm in your guard, 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 I'm in your guard. Control, go, push, this way, pull. Do I need to stay here for a No, why? You I was in your half guard. Oh okay, cool. So technically you're in my guard. Half guard is I'm in your guard and you're in my guard. Right, right. Yeah. Gav? So the key factor is the knee squeeze and the knee roll. It's not turning your body. It's the knee squeeze and the knee roll. So once we're here, and I've got your legs together, and I'm squeezing, see, in your head. Now, breathe and Yeah. So, guard pass to half guard, go back. Guard pass to restless pass. They will now reverse you over to mount and then swap it over. So we still get the score advantage first, but then they get to score points. Points always override the advantages. Okay, one, two, three. Go. Guard, put you onto your back. Uh, head place in that way, please. So uh, sometimes when we do the restless pass, I come across um, like frames. And it's very hard for me to, to um, know what is pass any further than disengage the legs. So I've got, I'm in the half guard, I've come down here and you shove these frames and I'm having a lot of trouble. So the downfall about it is uh, a lot of time, if any time that I lift up, they can re regard, they can put their guard back through. So if I'm here or they like, oh, come up, they're just going to regard. So that's not the correct way to deal with the frames. Um, I'm going to re divert 
his fangs, re-divert his fangs. Got a good squeeze my leg, I'm here, not trying to pass. So I sat walking my legs under. There you go. Cut past. See, pushing yeah. yeah, I'm actually concentrating more on my frame, not on the guard. Come here. You end up concentrating <laughs> on that, that he actually passes your guard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you actually move. Yeah. He diverts your frame and your mind. <laughs> this is cool. Jedi mind. Yeah, he actually diverts both. Because you're actually trying to fight. Right? Sorry. Roll my fucking leg under. Now, what were you concentrating on, Kurt? It was the frame. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, you're not worried about the guard. Yeah, it's weird. He's looking at the back of his head. Yeah, it's working, it's working. He's got better ears than me. Yeah, yeah. It's a weird video. I've done. Okay. So, I just put to the frame on it. What shall we do? So I'll take them out. <laughs> so you're switching the third day. Yep. Well, and then sooner or later, he's going to bring his knees together. I just stepped yeah. him out. Like I almost don't even know that I've lost the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like so I'm, you're, on your you're, you're switching around there. Yeah. And then I think I'm still, hey, I've still got yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So think about this one. Yes. I'll explain. Here, here, yeah. It's fine. Oh. So what I'm going to do from here is this. I know that he can't grab my arm because his fangs are there. That's my leg. Switch. Now start walking this way. Now, throw my leg under. Here, he's going to change again. Pull the leg straight. Whatever. Could be a mouth. Yeah, it could be a <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm my face. And then, the double deep. Oh. But I always go back to the car. Always go back to the car. Nice. Okay. So, I'll try and explain it this. Once we're here, like this, I've got to go and see up in here. Yeah, so that, that pops. Yeah, yeah, so that the knee pops. <laughs> Pass the car. Who's the Yeah. Yeah. So I go, hand up, hand up, mm. straighten my leg. Good and pass the car. But oh, you've got to shut it under and this is that. The hold down. Tell me your own size for this one, please, guys. So the frame is. So what I'm doing is, so I'm going to switch my head. I'm taking my right knee to the center, my left foot comes up. So I'm switching my foot. Now what I'm going to do is, everyone tries to back step. You're going to get swept, because that's the way you want to go. So now if you want to try to back step, like this is the, the sweep. So I think that was one that's going to suck me this one. And it shoves oh, the leg out. Yeah. You end up sweeping it. So from here, pull it back. So. It's actually going down his leg. I'm going down, baby. So from here and here, right? I'm trying to stop the face. So I throw my left leg 
First of all is I'm always going to cross my feet. Right, I'm always going to cross my feet. I'm going to make sure that the triangle is facing so that my shin is across the back of his calf. Right, so the reasoning behind that is that there's a majority of my weight which makes it harder for him to come up onto his right leg. Where if I'm facing it this way, he can pop it like it's hot. So first thing I do is I turn this side and I squeeze. So my weights, I've been squeezing it in, so I'm kind of squeezing onto his knee so it's harder for him to change the weight. This also ha helps to eliminate the knee slice scar pass, which we're going to cover in a second. He has the underhook from me, he has the shoulder pressure. He takes his left foot out, comes up onto his right knee to shoulder control to knee slice scar pass. This slide. And again. So this only works, number one, on this side, hook it, catch it, squeeze it so I'm, I'm actually nudging him forward so i'm kind of baiting him he has the underhook but that's okay because i have the overhook they'll generally put their head so it's pressure here i'm just going to get a grip now whether it's the gi or the belt is irrelevant and i'm not pulling him this is just control it's, it's uh okay i'm part of you you're part of me as he steps up now he's generally going to try and lift his knee to pass to knee slice as he does that i throw my leg towards his leg I hip escape. He can't post, because he's got the underhook, which becomes my overhook, which means that I get full control. Okay. It's been a long day, babe. Sorry. Okay. So once again, so from here, this is the important part. Anytime I knee shoot in front, I'm finding it harder to stop the knee slice guard pass because I don't have control on the hip. This is good for holding him off. So when I'm ready, I go one, two, three, and I'm squeezing his knee into me. I just get a control, just like. As Kurt steps out onto his left leg and pops his right knee, this is part, my legs go to him. So my legs go to him. All right. I'm now gonna pull my left hand down. I'm gonna roll my back onto the ground and raise my hips. I'll pull my left hand down, put my hips on the ground, raise my hips. I've already got his arm caught. Because he had the underhook, so I've got the overhook, so I'm in the control overhooks for holding. You know what I mean? That Jenny try and turn towards me. Take his three points. Okay. Technically, it's sweep and guard pass, half guard. Technically, you won't get it, you just get the sweep. <laughs> so I'm starting to get a little bit tired, I'm looking out a little bit. So he's got a heavy cross face, um, half guard, and he has the underhook. Um, so the two factors for me is that anytime that my palm's down, he can use his right hand to leave my arm away. So yeah, so I'm just gonna put my palm up, so I use his right hand to leave it away. Explain. There's no space between his arm and my elbow, palm down. There's space. I take the space away. This also means I can recruit my lats because it's a downwards motion. I recruit my lats. I engage my lats as he goes to move it. Deceptive. Okay. 
most people are going to go, I don't believe it, do that two or three times. Okay, the key, watch carefully, is this. The leg that's trapped in the middle is the key. The leg that's trapped in the middle is the key. I'm going to cross that over my other leg. So from here, my right leg, which is trapped, crosses over my left leg. I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to roll onto my back and bring my right knee to my chest. That's the first thing. I'm going to put my left hand on the ground. I'm going to roll to my back and my right knee to my chest. Put my left hand on the ground. So, here. Watch what I do. As I nudge, his weight goes where? But he can step out now because no, with the other leg and pass. Man, that's an issue. So, if I back it so he can't step out, the um, main reason this works is that the knee is the sense line of the body, and I can leave you. So, once again, if I'm palm down, if Kurt uses his right hand to push my elbow up, palm down, cross my feet, palm down. Now, what I'm doing is this, I go flat to my back. First of all, my knee goes to my chest, and I swing. down, cross it, flat, knees to chest, scoop, come on top, head that way, this way I can't take my back, head this way, don't put it here, head the side, post, is going to go recover, and it goes in front, and we're in the game again, and it goes in front, we're in the game, is there on the cover, one, two, three, the biggest issue you're going to have is that you're not on your back when you need to chest side. Yeah. Video, so. No one wants to listen to me talk, man. I talk shit. Want to talk? Come down to a class. This is... What do a job with? Uh, can some people have fun? <laughs> it is. It is. Right. It is. <laughs> um, okay, think about this first. So, Gav's on me. Okay, so palm. So if I just roll my knees now, what happens to his hips? I'm here. I'm almost here. What's the drive? Pendulum with my legs and I'm raising him forward. So when I nudge forward, all this weight goes here, I take out his post. See my legs? Swing. Scoop. Take this post out, and boom, through the chest, sit back, Kimura. He rolls to defend the Kimura, boom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he went to do the sweep. And you can't, I counted it with a, yeah. Forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, that one's really good. So, um, the thing about it is, when I see people sweep, it's, if we're flat, I don't have a hole or a valley to dump my partner into. Oop, there's a hole to dump him into. So I need to create a valley to throw him inside the valley. So when I raise my knees to his hips, his hips come up, and that's the valley I use to throw him into. Let's go again. 